All right, welcome back. And tonight we are going to go over a simple grid bot. So the majority of the bots on Pinex are all set up for grid trading of some sort. So understanding a simple grid is key to being able to operate and function within all these other bots you can choose from. So what is a grid bot? Well, let's go into it. And you can see here, this is the AI's recommendations for you. I have one down here that I set up the other day on Friday. Today, Sunday. And I started right here. Well, no. Friday would make it right around here. So I started it right at $400.79. And unfortunately, the trade went against me. Now, while it went against me, I have been able to make $3.56, which isn't much. But my parameters weren't set up correctly. And I want to show y'all, you know, just because you enter one of these doesn't mean you're going to be in profit. So, what happens? Well, you can see over here, I started at $400.78. And it keeps buying the dips, selling when it comes back up. And it's actually bringing my average buy-in cost down. So, you can see now it's only... 398.8 so the more trades it does it is bringing me closer and closer to where the market's at currently so let's go back over here to trade and whenever I say that it sets up buys and sells in both directions if you already have one running and you're on the pair that you have the bot running on, click the eyeball, and all these red ones is sell orders. All the green ones are buy orders. So, let's try and move this up. All right, and you can see it's about to reach a sell order. So, Let's go back into here and see if we can catch this placed order. <clears throat> so as soon as it hits 392.68, it will sell. And another buy order will be created over here. And it will, every single time you buy, a new sell order is created. Every single time you sell, a new buy order is created. So it keeps the system alive, keeps it running, and it's a beautiful process as long as it stays within the top of your grid and the bottom of your grid. So <clears throat> while we're waiting for this to go, I guess I'll go back over here and explain to you. So in a simple grid, you select the bottom number. This is saying that, you know, no matter what happens, that, um, uh, let's get rid of these. This is saying no matter what, you don't think it's going to go past this point right here. And the top is you don't think it's going to go around this area here, you don't think it's going to make it to 500. So what happens if it goes to 327.93? Well, it falls outside your range, but just because it fell outside your range doesn't mean the bot itself stops. So at this point, you would be 100% in ETH, which isn't a bad thing if you plan on holding and waiting for the next pump. You just DCA'd from 400 all the way down to 327, averaging your buy-in cost down. So you can simply hold it. 
You can stop the bot, hold it, and set a cell limit order if you want to. Or whenever you set this up, you can uh, create a stop loss price. Now, the stop loss price has to be below your lowest number, so you can set for a 327.92 or <coughs> anything lower than that. And what happens if you're at 497.17? Well, that means you've sold all your Ethereum in this smart trade or in this grid trade, and you're 100% in profit. So, once again, the bot stays running, and should Ethereum fall back down, it will continue to start making trades again. So, this one, I just went for a quick AI settings that were provided to me. I didn't put any thought into it or anything else. And I wish I had chosen a little bit different settings. Uh, this one's moving, in my opinion, rather slow. I think I've only had... Oh, I keep moving myself in the wrong place. So I've only had 27 transactions since Friday. So to me, that's pretty slow. I would like to set the, uh, you know, this bottom range higher and this top range a little closer. Uh, so I probably would have went for uh, 300 and, I don't know, 65 and 450. I think it would have stayed within that, you know, $100 range fairly well. So, yeah. Now, also, whenever you're doing grid trading, you click here to set yourself. You can use the AI's recommendation, and then you can just, you know, sit here and critique it, change these. So, let's say, I think it's going to stay within that $100 range. Now, each at 74, so I'll split your minimum is 112 to 74 grids. So you'll be getting 0.2% after fees are deducted for every single transaction it makes. So that should catch a whole lot of momentum. Let's see what happens if we increase it. So, 99 grids, it'll get to there. Um, let's change it to 150. So, you can see even breaking down into two or 150, you're still going to be in profit. Now, you're going to have to have more capital to run that many, but you know. If you don't have that much, just go over here and you can play with all the settings until you find something that, you know, you can do. So if you have less than $26, you know, you can go all the way down to, I think, 3 And it won't do any trades unless it's, you know, 12.4% change from where you start to where you finish, but you can set it up to just be automated. You know, hold your USD, and if it dips, it buys. If it spikes, it sells. So you can play the game pretty much however you want. Um, just giving some recommendations. <clears throat> now down here, you can see that if you have the perfect bot set up, but, you know, let's say you know that it's been swinging up and down, up and down, up and down, like it does. So, you have everything set up, ready to go, but, you know, you really don't want to get started until it gets back down here to around 389.50 cents. Well, you can type in 389.50 right here, and the bot will not trigger, it won't start, won't do anything until we come back down. That way, as soon as it starts going back up, you're in profit. 
you can put your stop loss here. And as soon as it goes below your lowest number, it will convert everything back to USD and you'll stop bleeding. Um, you can set it to take profit. So once it goes over 450, it'll shut down. And if it comes back down, you don't have to worry about trading again. You will have canceled the bot and you have your profit. So, and feel free to play with these numbers. And I just used Ethereum because it's what I'm tr currently trading. But you can set these up on any setting or any coin. So, let's see, find a good one. Let's go back up. We'll do an alphabetical 24 hour change. Sorry, I have hiccups. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if you want to set it up with basic attention token with three times the leverage, let's see what this chart looks like. Um, reset the chart. And yeah, it's in the $3 range for the leverage times three. Zoom out a little bit, get 15 minutes. Okay, and you can see there's tons of volatility here. And I would probably want to set this from 1.4 to 3.5, 3.7 maybe. And, of course, I wouldn't want to start it up here. So I might put a trigger price of 2.5. Or if you really think it's going to dip all the way back down here before it comes back up, you might want to start a short instead of a long. So um, that's just some basic ideas of how this works. And once again, if you go back over to no, the coin pair I'm actually trading, you can zoom in, see all the buys and sells. You can see I just missed that one. And it's currently came back down. So we'll just be sitting here waiting for it to take some more profit. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick update and a quick guide to grid trading and what it's all about. If you still don't understand, feel free to send a message to me on the YouTube chat, or if you're on my Discord, feel free to send a message through Discord, and I'll help y'all get one set up. Thank you, and look forward to making another one on Leverage Grid next.